Look what you done started uh -oh. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, for today's video, I will be creating a vitiligo beauty. Um, I've been really, I've like actually been thinking about this video for a really long time, and I felt like it was something that I just really wanted to do. And I was actually surprised. It's just I don't know. It's something different for me because I'm not used to speaking my mind. So I'm really sorry if this voiceover is I don't know. I guess like you could say awkward if i'm like i don't know to me it's just really hard for me to speak my mind i'm not like that type of person i'm a super shy person and me just like speaking my mind i don't know i feel like it's something important though but i really like how this sim turned out i this is probably like one of my favorites i'm telling you i say this in like every video i know but this, this video to me and this sim have like a true meaning and i feel like I just don't know how to explain this. It's really hard. Much harder than I thought this was going to be. Um, I don't know. I feel like vitiligo is just, like, another skin. Like, anyone else's skin. Like, we have, like, black skins, brown skins, white skins, Caucasians, mixed people. Like, there's all these different people around the world. And I feel like vitiligo is just, like, any other skin. You know, like, there's, like, nothing wrong with vitiligo. I feel like it's beautiful and just super pretty. And, like, anyone that does have it should just really feel good about themselves. And if anyone just, like, tells you something bad or you just feel like you're being let down, trust me, you should look in the mirror every day and look at yourself and say, I am beautiful because you are. No matter what skin tone you are, no matter what you look like, you are beautiful just the way you are. So, yeah, I just feel like... I don't know. Like I said, I feel like the Lego just like any other skin. It's just like one little difference about it, but I feel like it's like not different. Oh, I hope you guys understand what I mean. I don't know. This is just really hard to explain. Um, yeah. My mouth is getting really dry right now, but that's just what I feel like the Lego is. And you shouldn't let anyone, like, let you down. Like, I remember when I was little, I, like, didn't know what vitiligo was. And I would, like, go to a grocery store or something, and I would see people who had vitiligo. Like, I've never seen, like, a whole bunch of people with it. Like, I've seen, like, two or three people in my entire life with vitiligo. And I think they are really pretty. Like, there's models who have vitiligo. Like, you should be proud like if there's a model of vitiligo you should not feel bad about yourself or anything and i'm not implying or saying that all people with vitiligo feel bad about themselves but i have read things that like people who have like skin diseases or anything like that just don't feel bad about don't feel good about themselves or something because someone said something to them and uh, i don't know people shouldn't just do that and i feel like yeah it's just super important <sighs> yeah well back to the story i would see people with vitiligo and i would like stare at them because i didn't know what it was and now that i like sit back and think about it i was like oh wow i shouldn't like stare at someone whose skin looks like that that's super rude and just you shouldn't stare at one at anyone in general and yeah, but I was, like, really small, and I didn't understand, so that really doesn't give me an excuse. Um, you're supposed to have manners and everything. You shouldn't just stare at someone just because of what their skin looks like. Yeah, so everyone's beautiful no matter what. And, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. And, yeah, uh, this video, this voiceover was really hard for me because I'm so not used to speaking my mind. I'm a super shy person. And I'm just, like, not that type of person, I guess you could say. But, yeah, we really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.